We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top. New level. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see him. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey, I live on a job. Right. Yeah, I'm always at work. Right. Real people stay by me. Right. Haters wanna do hurt. Right. No, they tryna stop me. Right. Drag my name through dirt. Right. I don't feed them to the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk, facts. I feel so special, facts. I know my worth, facts. My bloodline royal, facts. We the kings of the earth, right? You can't stop this, nah, nah. You can't stop this, no way. Look at this sound right here. I'm gonna show you something real quick. Based on your father, where, what's your nationality? Huh? Your father, I don't see Baptist there. When you fill out a job application that says your nationality, you put Baptist? You put black. Look at the top. Where it says American blacks, look to the left of that. What does it say? Judah. The mighty tribe of Judah. That's right. That is your tribe. Your nationality is the, the nation of Israel. So you're not a black. Your color, your, the shirt, your color, the color of your shirt is black. Your skin is brown. All right, they call us black people. We understand why they do that. But the Bible says that you're from the nation of Israel, from the tribe of Judah. That's, that's right. right. That's God's people. When it says my people, that's what it's talking about. But I want you to look at number three. Look at number number four. What does that say? It says Ephraim, but what does it say to the right? Puerto Ricans. But what, Puerto Ricans are known as black people. So, all right, so now look below that. What does it say below that? It says Dominicans. Those not black, those not known as black people either. Now look, look, the one below that. And below that it says Gad, right there. See what it says Gad? What does that say? American what? So wait a minute. You said black people, but the nation of Israel is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Wait a minute, Tim. The Bible says that. I'm not making that up. So now go ahead. What are you going to say? We all God. Who's all? Who's we all? We are all nations. Who's we all? I want you to, I want you to say the nationality you're talking about. All black, white, green. White? Purple. Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah. So the Bible's going to say that too. God, I, I want to know who God's people are. You say all people. Okay, we all, we all God. All right, let's find out. I want you to look at that sign right there. Show me where you see Caucasian white. Is it on there? Show me where you see Chinese. Is it on there? You see Arab? You see, you see Arab? Where's Arab? Show me. Where is it? Where is it? You need on there. All of us. All of us. Uh huh. All right, let's find out. Let's find out if you're right right now, God. I want you to look at this sign right there. I want you to look at this sign right here. How come I don't see the whites on this side? I see them on here, but they're not getting put in chains. They're not getting shipped on a slave boat. I don't see them on here. They're the ones with the whip in their hand. They're the one that's auctioning us, auctioning us off. So now, let's see what the Bible says about. The Israelites. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Let's see what the Bible says about the Israelites. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Read. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies, mm -hmm. which the Lord shall send against thee. So, the Bible says the people on this side, the, the, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, who are the children of Israel, they're going to serve their enemies, not their friends. They're going to serve their enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. And the Lord sent those enemies against us. Read. In hunger. So for food, you have to go to your enemies. Does the white man go to the black man for food? All right. So check out this. How about, does the Hispanic, I mean, does the Chinese man go to the black man? Not that. He's from Honduras. Hey, what's going on, bro? What's your name? Mario. We going over this topic right here, Mario. With, with Brother Tim. Brother Tim said 
that God is the God of all nations, the whites, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Arabs. The Bible says that God's people are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Do you agree with that? Uh -huh. It's a yes or no question. Do you agree with that? No. No, okay. So now, we're going to read out of the Bible, because you follow the Bible, right? You follow the Bible, right? Yeah. What's your name again? So, I'm sorry. Mario. Mario. Mario, and that's Tim. Tim, let me ask you something. What is your nationality according to that sign right there? According to your father. What's your father? African American? Alright, so you'll be from the tribe of Judah as well. Have you ever heard that before? No. Okay. So he's from the tribe of Judah. Tim is from the tribe of Judah. Mario is also from the tribe of Judah. Now we're going to see what the Bible says about who his people are. Verse 48 again. Read. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Mario. The Bible just said, therefore shall they serve their enemies, which the Lord has sent against them. Read. In hunger. So, in hunger, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have to go to their enemies for food. Do our enemies come to us for food? Do the Chinese man come to the blacks for food? Look at that. Who owned that store right there? No, it don't. No, it don't. Arab owns that store. Arab. They own that store right now. So, are, yes. Are they on this side right here? Where? Show me. They ain't on it. So, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's a good question. We're going to address that later. The Bible says you got to go to your enemies for food. So, even though we own, let's say, Dutch pot, that's our people. Let's say we own. Uh, Chef Creole, that's our people. Do they own the land that the store is sitting on? No. Mario, they had to pay taxes to who? To the white man, there you go. How can you agree on Tim? Tim? Alright, B. In hunger and in thirst. Same thing. Drinks. Aquafina, Bud Light, uh, give me some Gatorade. Anything you want to drink, you gotta go to your enemies to get it. You can't even collect rainwater in your backyard. You get caught, guess what happened? You get caught. Is it rainwater free? It fall from the sky. How come I, collect, I can't collect rainwater and boil it and clean it and use it for drinking water? Because they can't tax it. Exactly, I like that answer. They can't tax it. Who's they? Oh my goodness. So it's say you have to go to your enemy for water. And you just said who your enemy was. Read. And in thirst and in nakedness. The clothes on your back, the clothes you see us wear. Do we go to our own people for the for the, the raw materials it takes to make these clothes? The silk, the cotton, the polyester. What say no? Not just the white man. What about the Chinese man? What about the Arab man? Right. What about that? What, what about the African man? I got some stuff that's made in Africa. Oh, you see the Africans on it? Show me Africa. Ain't no Africans on there. So wait a minute. So we got a lot of enemies, don't we? Yeah. We only got a couple of allies, but we got a bunch of enemies. Yeah. Our, our brothers and our sisters are the Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. If you're not Black, Hispanic, and Native American, you're not a child of Israel. Right. You're not from the tribes of. You're not from the twelve tribes. That means you are an enemy. The Bible is saying that. I'm not making that up. Keep reading. And in nakedness, and in want of all things, Read. and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. I want you to pay attention to this sign right here. Look, look, Tim. Tim, pay attention, bro. It says he. Read it again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who has a yoke of iron around their necks? Oh, we do. Oh, let me show you something else. These are the Hispanics. Oh, these are the Hispanics and Native Americans. What do they have around their necks? Same thing. Same thing. What's happening here? These are the conquistadors conquering the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans. Right. Yokes of iron around their necks. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck Read. until he hath destroyed thee. One of the ways we'll destroy Tim. When I ask you, who are your people? You exclude the so-called Hispanic and the so-called Native Americans. One of the ways we destroy Mario, hey Mario, come here. One of the ways we destroy, when I ask you, 
your nationality, you tell me black or black American or African American. You don't tell me I'm from the tribe of Judah from the nation of Israel. That's how we're destroyed. You understand that? Hey, so let me ask you something. How do we how do we become an unto wait, don't go Mario? I gotta talk to you, bro. I gotta talk to you. I wanna make sure you got this before you leave. I gotta go What's your nationality, uh, Mario? African American. You still say African American. The Bible don't call you African American. The Bible calls you an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. Give me that numbers. Give me that numbers. I'm gonna show you why we asked you about your father. What's your nationality, Mario? Dang, I love it. Give me that. Tell my partner talk to us, bro. Mario. Mario. What is your nationality according to the Bible? We just went over the, one of the curses that fit the so-called black and Hispanic and Native American man. The Bible says those curses are going to be upon you for a sign and a wonder. I'm not making it up. Read. This is the book of Daniel chapter 9 and verse 11. Tim. Tim. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse, the what? The curse is poured upon us. So the curses are born upon us because we keep we keep disobeying God's laws. All we have to do is come back to God's laws and we'll be blessed. We'll be out of this captivity. We'll stop getting shot in the street. We'll stop gang banging. We'll stop pouring out our sisters. We'll stop making music about sleeping with our brothers' wives. We'll stop doing all of that. But you know why we don't? Because we hate God. Now we gotta start loving God. How do you love God, Tim? All right, let's see if that's true. Keep reading, keep reading. A curse is poured upon us, see? and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, see? the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. Because we did what? Have sinned against him. Read. And he has confirmed his words, which he spake against us, see? and against our judges see? that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. What? A great evil. Slavery is a great evil. Black on black crime is a great evil. Getting shot in the street by the cops is a great evil. Having a cop kneel on your neck for 45 minutes is a great evil. Why did he bring that evil upon us, bro? You can't answer? Answer it for him, Mario. Why? Because we got that curse. Why we got cursed, Tim? So, so now, this, this is a sign that you're not paying attention because we read it three times. Now we're going to read it again. Why are we getting a character? Hey, bro, what's your name? Hey, brother. Brother, what's your name? Huh? Jeremy. Jeremy? Now we're going to read the answer. Mario, pay attention. Tim, pay attention. This is the answer why it keeps happening to our people. Read it again. 15, yeah. 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass. It's going to happen, sis. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to God. How many of us have kids? You got kids? You got kids, sis? Brother, you got kids? Yeah. You tell your kids to clean their room and they don't do it, what's going to happen? Punishment. Punishment. So, same way God is talking to us. If you don't keep my commandments, if you don't clean your room, if you don't listen to God, what's going to happen? To observe, to do all his commandments. To learn and apply all his commandments. Not some of them. All of them. Read. And the statutes which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses. All these curses. What's Name one curse, Mario. Hold on, sis. Name one curse, Mario. That's an idea. I said a curse. curse. Look at the sign. Name one curse. Slavery. Slavery is a curse. How about black on black crime? Is that a curse? Is, that, is black on black crime a curse? Jeremy, is black on black crime a curse? Yes. Tim. Tim. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. Stop listening to the devil. Tim. Tim. 
All right, so here we come the devil. Here we go again. Now let's see if the Bible's a true book. Because now here we go. Don't run away, Mario. Listen, Mario. Yes, Read that Daniel 9 11. Yes, it's going to change for every single one of these brothers. Read. It's, it's the book of Daniel chapter 9 and verse 12. Listen, listen close, Jeremy. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us, Read. and against our judges that judged us, Read. by bringing upon us a great evil. What great evil fell on the white man? Name it. I want to know a great evil that fell against the white man. Name it. I want to hear it. You don't know because it, it don't exist. Read. For under the whole heaven, under the what? Under the whole heaven, Read. has not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Where was the white man in slavery? Where does the white man get shot by the police? Where does the white man get a knee on his neck for 45 minutes? Where, where, where is the white man in the ghetto? Wake the hell up, y'all. Read. For under the whole heaven has not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Nobody gets cursed like the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. I don't care where you are. You know who you are according to these curses. I am on the neck, shot by the police, in jail cells. That does not happen to no other nation. If you got the proof, show me. Show me in the Bible. What the proof says? Acts 238. What does it say? No, what does it say? Pull it out for. Pull it out for. I want to know your understanding of it. Because you're smoking a cigarette right now. Are you bringing God's commandments by doing that? No. Oh, okay. Let's find out. Give me that next. Then we're going to address that cigarette. You're smoking. Pull over here smoking a cigarette too. You came over here to tell them the white man love you, but not to put the cigarette down. Right. How the hell are you keeping God's commandments when you're breaking them? Where in the Bible does that make no sense? This is the book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Please. Then Peter said unto them, Please. Repent and be baptized, Please. every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, Please. for the remission of sins. Remission of what? Of sins. Please. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Right. So now, what does that mean? Walk away, sisters, you have no knowledge of the Bible. What does that mean? What does it mean to repent? Repent of all your sins and you will be saved. What is it sin? What is it sin? We sin every day, but you have to be up every day. Let's, Let's get what sin is. Let's get what sin is. Read. The Bible doesn't say that. In the book of verse John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Read. Whosoever committed sin. This is the definition of sin, just in case you did not know. Read. Transgressive also the law. Read. For sin. Is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's law. Right. Now let's get the law of smoking. Can you smoke? Is it okay to smoke? Let's find out it's not a commandment. You know what I want. First Corinthians 3.16. Let's find out is it a commandment to smoke. Read. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. Read. Know ye not? Don't talk. Don't talk to the scripture. Read. Know ye not? That ye are the temple of God? Is your body the temple of God, sis? Not is your body the temple of God, sis? Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Since the Spirit of God don't dwell in you because you not keep the commandments. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, Tim, if you defile the temple of God, read. Him shall God destroy. Shall bless. Shall destroy. So if you defile God's temple, he will destroy you. Right. You are breaking God's commandments, sis. You are breaking God's commandments, Tim, by putting that nasty cigarette to your mouth. You are breaking God's commandments. Straight up. Let's get to another, another commandment for the sister. Your brother Let's get numbers. No, it says keep the commandments and live, right? What's your name, sis? What's your name, sis? Y'all picking my name. It's not sis. It's sister. You my sister. Sister. You my sister. You can't say sis. Because sis is a different term and it's used for sister. Sister. What's your name? Sister. What's your name, sis? Sister Claire. Claire. I'm Sim. What's your name? Look at your nationality and look at your father. What does the Bible say your nationality? The Bible doesn't talk about nationality. We are all Okay. So the Bible doesn't talk about nationality. That's what you said. All the Bible doesn't talk about nationality. Read that. All of the kids. This is the book of Romans, chapter 7. Verse 23. For the wages of sin. The wages of what? 
man is dead. If you don't keep God's commandments, you are going to die. Everybody dies. That's what the Bible says. The wages of sin is death. So drinking and getting drunk on the Sabbath day is a sin. Getting drunk, period, is a sin. Read. This is the book of 2nd Esther, chapter 6 and verse 56. As for the other people, as for the other people, which also come of Arabs. The white man also comes from Adam. The, 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 the Arab man also comes from Adam. The Japanese man also comes from Adam. Read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. What are we reading the Bible? The Bible says they are nothing. And brother in the blue hat. Brother in the blue hat. The Bible just says they are nothing. Explain that. It says all the other nations that are not the Israelites are nothing. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth